Ahmad D. Dennis says, which race is the funniest? Oh, Special Olympics, easily. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! It meant race, race. <laughs> we bad. We bad. <laughs> yep, Charlemagne the God. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, back for another week of brilliant idiotness. And today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. From websites and online stores to marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag-and-drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase. Let's start the show. Charlotte. Hezekiah Walker, the gang is back together. Charla, I missed you. I missed you too, my brother. I saw you chose up. I, I saw you out there in the Middle East. I saw you chose up. What that mean? <laughs> what shows up me? Oh, wow. I had them hips showing. Everybody was telling me the hips was, was I didn't poking see the through. Hips, bro. Everybody was telling me the hips was poking through in the road. Let me see. Let me see. see. Let me hold see. You got some on, shape. Let me find hold out. That's the, be jealous. that's the funny thing about social media. They, they'll notice shit you. They was like, yo, they was like, yo, you got the mermaid. God damn, bro. <laughs> Oh my God! It was like you, you got a bubble. They said you got the mermaid. No, it was like you got the mermaid. No, showing. Charlotte, that's like crazy. Charlotte with the mermaid shape. The Charlotte, mermaid you got silhouette. Yo, putting tail of the shame. Nah, bro, you look like one of them used to be fat dudes. <laughs> <laughs> you know how like the hips don't go away, but you got skinny. Golly. <laughs> All right, so you were just tell everybody knows obviously, but you were just in Abu Dhabi and Dubai. I was in Abu Dhabi with the goat. I was only I was only in Dubai for a day. I was oh, really Lord. I was really always in Abu Dhabi. Um, Steve Harvey does something out there every year with uh, Melt Middle East. Let me make sure that's correct. Melt Middle East. Yes, gotcha. that's the name of the organization. Melt Middle East, and he he basically just you know. Does the, melt mid east? Yes, he does this thing where he just basically wants people to come out and visit Abu Dhabi. You know what I mean? And see what Abu Dhabi is about. Abu Dhabi's dope, man. Man, Abu Dhabi is beyond dope. Did you guys go to like dinner? You do the uh... we did all of that. We did dinners. We did went you... to the mosque. We went to. Uh... Did you check out the eye ladies? <laughs> I'm not falling for this shit, man. You know what I'm saying? I literally was in Abu Dhabi. I know you were. They, I, yo, listen. Breakfast Club, brilliant idiot, massive audience in in, in Abu Dhabi. They, yeah. they were coming to me. People in the robes with the scarves yeah. saying to Kandora. me. Kandora. Kandora. That's what it's called. called the Kandora. And the kafia. Saying to me, I can't believe I'm looking at you. Yeah. I just saw Andrew. I just saw Andrew. Uh, I don't know, two weeks ago, I think they said. Wow, we yeah, just yeah. saw Andrew, you know, and now I'm looking at you. Yeah. I can't believe I'm actually looking at you. Yeah. I was like, shit. Y'all didn't go out. I no, know that y'all didn't go out. And by the way. <laughs> if you went out, you would have seen what they call eye ladies. And <laughs> I'm not trying to get you. And that's <laughs> nah, their way of getting. It's a real That's thing. basically their way of getting around the system. And because there's obviously strict, you know. What is the eye lady? I laid his balls in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm not that patient. See, I'm not patient. I'm not patient. You gotta lay. You gotta. You gotta. You gotta, you gotta lay on it. I'm like, that's why I be fucking up at. He angry at himself. He angry at himself. That's why I be fucking up at. I should have stuck with it. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna tell you some crazy I shit. I fucked up. I fucked you up. Salute. That was, like, that was yeah. a good one. That was a good one. Listen, salute to a young lady named Jessica. She works for Steve Harvey. The, uh, Asian woman. Massive Andrew Schultz fan. Said Andrew Schultz is her husband in her head. Shout out, Jessica. I'm sitting down at dinner. She comes up to me. She's talking to me. She's like, it's going to be a great week. You know, we have such a great itinerary for y'all. She was like, you know, I can't wait for you to see the such and such and such and such. And you got to do the liquor excursion. <laughs> Stop. I'm looking. I'm like, the liquor excursion. I'm just thinking in my mind. I'm like, she couldn't hold it. 
She couldn't hold she couldn't it. Hold it. <laughs> she started dying laughing. That's fucked she started up. Dying you gotta stay laughing. in the moment. And then she, she goes, stay she in goes the I'm so sorry. I'm yeah. so sorry. I just listened to Brilliant Idiots. Andrew Schultz is like my husband in my head. Then she pulls up her phone. She had a list? She had 10 or 15. <laughs> so that's great. Real one. up yeah. jokes ready Real to one. go. Shout out to her. Ready to Fucking go. Je- Wait, what's her name? Jessica. Yo, Jessica, shout out to you. Then, You're the fucking best. She saw you. We in, love she, you. She said she went to go see you in Toronto. Oh, respect. At the, oh, at the uh, what's the big Scotia joint? Bank the Green. Scotia Bank. Yeah, Green. yeah, yeah. Now, let me tell you how I tried to get her. Okay. But it wasn't landing. Okay. And Jessica, you don't even know this, but I'm telling you now. Yeah, yeah. After we played, after we played golf, which I was out there pretending to know how to play, a dress definitely looked the part. Yeah. We out there playing golf. We're at the, 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 the buffet. They had the food after everybody playing golf. Yep. So Jessica's fixing her plate, and I'm like, you have to try to tip with her. <laughs> right? 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 Trying to for get whatever canceled. Reason, trying to get canceled out there. For, for whatever reason, Jessica was not paying She's me like, no I'm attention. She's like, I'm good. I'm not, I don't need to She tip. was like, no. She was like, I, she was like yeah, I'm eating uh, the whatever. I'm, I just, I'm trying this. I'm eating this. And I'm like, I'm like, yes, but that tip with it, though. <laughs> <laughs> she still ain't paying me Patience, no attention. bro. Yeah. Patience. So I gave it one more go, and I just got defeated. I'm like, ah, oh, she's not paying me no fuck. Attention. Did you tell her that you No, were trying- she's going to hit That's your problem. It's because you're a parody every single time. That's your, your, your- no, I think I did tell her. I told her later. Yeah. I told her at another event because I was upset that she didn't get it. Yeah. And I was like, yo, you know, I've been trying to get you all fucking day, yo. <laughs> you know what I mean? And she yeah. was like, how? And I said, I kept telling you to try to tip with her. And she was like, the tip with her what? <laughs> <laughs> Still fumble. Oh, <laughs> come on, come on Jala. Jala. I'm gonna tell you why. Come on, come Jala. I'm gonna tell you why. Cause where we were, we were at a gala. So we're, I didn't want to just yell it. And then somebody that's over here, I just saw Sharkman tell the woman. Tip it tip it is dead. Dead. <laughs> what is that? Charlotte. That's the event I was at. I know. That's the welcome dinner. Jessica, Charlotte's gonna get you next time. He's gonna get better. But his his problem so far is that he is a he is a parody. <laughs> One, he is a parody. You you are a parody. That's that's all I'm gonna say. Let me tell you something. You are a parody, and what is referred oh. to in this business as a parody. You are a parody. Uh, I'm not asking you what that is. Why not? Cause, 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 <laughs> cause. I know what you're gonna say. This what? one I can see coming a mile away. What am I gonna say? You pair of these balls in your mouth. He's getting yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, he's getting good. <laughs> he's really getting good. <laughs> I can see him coming. No, you can't. No, I just can't give it to him. <laughs> I'm telling you, I can see him. But when it's time to give it, it's just like my brain just goes Shut stupid. Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Like yeah. Mitch McConnell, like, <laughs> like, I think I got it. But I just, I so I'm just froze for a second. And then when somebody hits me with one, I'm just like, golly. But Abu Dhabi is fantastic. Yeah, Abu Dhabi I, is listen, fucking great. By the way, Steve Harvey is Taylor Swift in Abu Dhabi. Talk to me. Talk to me. <laughs> I've never seen anybody get treated the way the good people of Abu Dhabi treat Steve Harvey. Damn, Steve Harvey spotted in Abu Dhabi with Charlamagne and Terrence J. I didn't know that. Hey. Oh. Listen, the way first of all, Abu Dhabi is a beautiful place, beautiful people, a lot of morals, a lot of values, but they just they have they have a love for Steve Harvey that's unreal. <laughs> like, what do you think Steve it is? Steve Harvey tells you to go to Abu Dhabi go to with Abu him. Dhabi. Go to Abu Dhabi. What do you think with it him. is? I have no idea. I keep trying to figure it out. Mm. You know, he's a great guy. We know this, but Family Feud don't come on in Abu Dhabi. Yeah. What do you? Where do you think that they? And I don't think they turn the AC on here. But where do you think that they? Uh, it is hot. I, I I think they like his motivational speaking. Do you think maybe they also recognize him as like an incredibly famous person in America? Of course. And that just has cachet. Absolutely. Abroad. By the way, how famous is Steve Harvey? How many black famous people do you think are going out there? I don't think Steve Harvey's black. Steve Harvey's not black famous. No, no. How many black famous people do you oh, think? Oh, Meaning like... Well, everybody usually goes to Dubai. But even though, just going to that area. I mean, Dubai's only like an hour car ride away. Hour and a half. But yeah. you know, it's like, it's like Jersey, New York. Like Abu Dhabi's trying to do its own thing. Yeah. And Dubai's doing its own thing. They're families. And like Dubai, the, the the they're like the United Arab Emirates. So each emirate is its mm-hmm. own, you know, royal family. Mm-hmm. And the Abu Dhabi 
family are the ones that are basically they run them all. So I think like the president or whatever, the the person who's in control. They got all the money. All the, all the money's in Abu Dhabi. Yeah, because Dubai yeah, yeah. ran through all their their oil. Abu Dhabi still has oil and natural gas, so yep. they're they're stacked. Absolutely. That's where the real money is. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. I, I don't I don't know, man. All I'm telling you is if Steve Harvey tells you to go to Abu Dhabi with him, you should go. Yeah, it's an experience like no no other. And we went to the F1. Uh, what's it called? The F1 race. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we went to the F1 race, and what'd you think? We stayed at that hotel. Which hotel? The the hotel for the F1 race, the W. That's where we stayed when we were in oh, Abu Dhabi. I just went to a racetrack. So the racetrack wraps around the hotel. Really? So literally when we we went on the race track, we were like driving the cars and shit, not the F1 cars. They put us like an F3. But like my hotel window would look out onto the track. So that's one of the things where it's like, it could be really fucking annoying if they're just driving all the time. But yeah. for the race, your room is the view of the track. So yeah, it's fire. Yeah, I met uh, Mohammed Khalifa Al Mubarak. Mm. He designs all that stuff. Mm. So the racetrack, the hotels, all of that. He designs all of that, man. He was a great person to have a conversation with. Because, man, you think about it. Abu Dhabi, Dubai is what, 50, 52 years old? Which one is 52 years old? Is it Dubai? One of them I think, is... So basically the seven Emirates came together, and they were basically like, yo, we should choose up, join up, and yeah. become like one, you know. But it's know, very young. One big country, yeah. It's only like 50, 52 years old. Like 15 years ago, it was just desert yeah. in a lot of those places in Abu Dhabi. And yeah, they, they, they built, built it up they, in they built an incredible it up. fashion. But just think about how young a city is. It's unbelievable. You know, I mean, a younger country is, right? Unbelievable. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, and it, it, <sighs> to be able to say, I we know the people that designed it. Oh, yeah. Like, that's unreal. Yeah. You know? Unreal. But unreal. it also shows you a lot of the things that, uh, I don't know, man, I just feel like we might be getting a lot of things wrong here. Like, for example? Mm. I think we're getting things wrong on a human level. What do you mean? Not not so much, you know, I mean, of course, systems need to change, but I just think those systems would automatically change if you had humans who were willing to change them. Like, like If you what? had humans who had more empathy, if you had humans who actually care about humanity, you know? I think that we live sometimes in a world uh, where people put capitalism and superficial stuff first. And you can never have true peace. You can never have true safety if those are the things people put You think we put above. capitalism first more than they do out there? I do. I mean, capitalism is, they're running they, it up out I, there. I, they I, do, they do, but there's still, there's still morals. Value. Like, they don't play when it comes to certain things. Like, there's no, there's no grace. Hmm. Like, you get caught with drugs over there. It's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? You disrespect one of their women. It's a wrap. Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. Like, we still have... We're not tight in those areas. Right. To right. say the least. Yeah. You I know? think that there, there's... Yeah. I think that there's place, parts that you can... You know, I think there's things you could criticize about all of them. There's amazing things about out there. Then there's things that out there that, like, we would look at and we'd be like, yo, this ain't even for us. Like, you know, the, the labor force out there has no upward mobility at all. Now, they're getting an opportunity that they wouldn't have in their home countries. A lot of them come from Pakistan, for example. But, like, the way that the system is built is not so they can become citizens and eventually own a business. Like, what we know is a system, the capitalist system in America. Their system is you're going to work this job for as long as you come working here, and you're never going to be part of society as more than someone who works. But correct me if I'm wrong, because somebody broke that down to me. They all get housing. No, no. They get housing, they get food. They get making. housing, they get food. Now, think about that. They yeah. get housing, they get food, they get transportation to work. I'm, I'm not... It's it's little to no crime over there. No, no, the, the, of course, of course, because there's no people, <laughs> there's no poor people. That's my point! <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's... That's the trick. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Just make your country of no poor people. No, no. What I'm saying is there are things that you go over there and you look at and you go, whoa, this is amazing. The fact that I feel so safe, the fact there's no crime, the fact that there's this like, it's a seeming a massive respect between individuals. I didn't just see people get into stupid fucking bar fights and throwing up all over the place. Like, it is really beautiful in that regard. And obviously all the development, everything they've been able to accomplish in 50 years is like unprecedented. But there are also things that as a Westerner, you look at and you go, oh, that's weird for me to see because the idea of America is you can come here with nothing and then make something of yourself. And, then, and, and the, that that can't happen over there. And in the process of making something of yourself, 
you're not doing anything with your life and you end up doing dumb shit <laughs> that fucks up society for all of us. Yes, so yes. all I'm saying is yeah. maybe we need a little labor force Maybe we need provide some listen, housing, now some you're talking, food. That you're kind of talking what white people was talking hey, back in the no day. This, this, no, no, it's no, 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 it's saying, better no, it's not. Just, no, it's, it's not. It's, it's the better idea. because it's the idea. No, 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 it's not the same. It's not that It's not even far. close. No, it's not. You know it's not. No, it's, no, not, it's, it, it's not even it's close. It's not even close. But I will tell you that, <laughs> you know, like, for example, we had a driver. Because you're still treated like a human. Yes. You're treated like a human being. No, 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 no. You are, uh, like, for example, I'll just tell you, my driver there, he works seven days a week, and what they do is they make them take one month off where you get paid. I think he made $700 US. A week? A month. No, yeah, uh, yeah, seven hundred, whatever. They're, what's their currency? No, seven hundred U.S. a month. No, no, yes, yeah, one hundred and ninety U.S. a week. So Stuff it's seven hundred like there. Whatever their currency is, is seven hundred, but it's one hundred and ninety dollars. Seven a week. days a week. Yeah, so that's about right. That's about seven hundred yeah. a month. Yeah, they're making yeah. like two dollars an hour. You got housing. <laughs> And food. It's what white people said, baby. I'm just. This is what white people said. Housing, food, transportation, and freedom. Where you actually is don't it? have is food. Is that freedom? Yes, yeah, so why is it not freedom? It's like they just pay they for you to work, and, and that's it. You just you only here. send it back to their, their their homeland. Yeah, but so their freedom is listen, just going to work and coming home and sleeping, and listen, going to work and come home sleeping. Al, that's not freedom. What is our lives? Where is the freedom? Yeah, but we have tri we can go to making dick jokes on podcasts. Yeah, we can do this. Yeah. Like you can't do. Put it that. this way. Put it this way. Put it this way. It's. I'm not saying that this is. I think the way to look at this is as a Westerner, you look at this compared to what your country is, which is kind of unfair. The way that I'm sure they're looking at it is, look, these people are coming from desperate situations That's right. in other countries. That's right. And we're going to bring them out of that desperate situation. We're going to pay them a wage. They're not going to be part of our society. They're not going to become citizens. There's no pathway to a better life here. But what they can do is send money back home to their families right. and provide a better life. And when you're looking at the opportunity that that is for those people in these other impoverished countries... I can see why they go, hey, this is great. And all those people are jumping at that opportunity because it's way better than what they have at home. So I completely understand. You know how many people would jump at that opportunity here in America? We're speaking from a place of privilege. Uh, what, there, no, no. There's people right now, cold as hell, sitting what on people, the streets of New York, begging for change, don't have a place to stay, don't have food. They would love to work somewhere. No, they wouldn't. You crazy. Get those jobs right now. Yeah. Oh. yeah. 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 But housing, Chris? Housing's different. Come on. Y'all talking about the job. We're talking about the housing. Do you know what the housing is? I don't know. Eight guys in a room, bunk beds. Hey, man, it's better. Would you <laughs> Just tell me. So, so what is the shelter here in New York? That. So then you can't have housing here. Listen, man, all I'm simply saying is we're still looking at it from a place of privilege. There's people out here that have nothing. It's not privilege. It's just culture. <clears throat> like, if we looked at it from... If we looked at the position of for somebody who's like from Pakistan, they're struggling. That's right. They have no way to feed their family, and then all of a sudden this opportunity comes up where now that they now they can, they got to work their ass off, but they can and they can take care of the family. That's a no brainer opportunity. Sure, you're in. absolutely right. But there's people in America in that same situation. Yeah, yeah. I guess what I'm trying to say is like it's very easy to judge, but when you're coming from your situation, but coming from the people who are taking those opportunities, they might be incredibly grateful for that. Absolutely. So, yes. So it's like, it's not, it's not something where I like judge on like, Tiss is how dare you do that? I understand that the world is gray, but as a Westerner, they have to understand that our idea, the inception of our country is you come here with nothing and you make something out of yourself. And the fact that that isn't the idea of theirs is we're always going to be like, Whoa, what the fuck is going on hey man, here? I, I've said on this podcast a million times, man. Might have a little bit too much freedom. Yo, <laughs> like some sucks. people here sucks. are just <laughs> simply not this capable guy's good. of thinking for themselves. South of the Mason Dixon, bro. I'm not just telling you the truth. South of the Mason there's, Dixon there's, line, bro. There's so many people in America. <laughs> No, we're not, we're not marking that. No, no, we're not don't market, don't market. You're right. There's people here in America. We fucked up. When, what year do you think? 1863? No, you're conflating two different things. Was it 1863? No, there are people here who simply... Fucking Abraham Lincoln with his no, no, ideas and no, shit. No, think about what you said, Show. There's, right? there, there's people you know here. I mean? There's people Listen here. Listen to a gay guy. There's people here who are... <laughs> Listen to some gay guy who likes to watch plays There's people in America who simply, there is no upward mobility for them. Regardless of how hard they try, regardless of how many opportunities are here, they're out here struggling right now. Mm. You're crazy, Alex. You've been, you've been, uh, you, you, nah, you, 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 you've been privileged too long. No, I don't think that's true because I think. So you, hold on, you don't know any poor people? 
No, yes, there are poor people. I don't ride the subway no more. <laughs> that's not true. That's not true. That's not true. You, you don't know, know stop, no poverty. Yes, I people. Yo, Al, what'd you say the other day? They made. What'd you say the other day? Nah, this shit was great. Yo, pull wait, up wait, the wait, poverty what'd you say? in, nah, in what'd America, you say? Taylor. What was it? They don't do the Showtime dance. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Trey Mon. I'm going to think No, no, no. Yo, NYC changed. I go, wow. They don't even be dancing on the subway no more. I go, Al. I know they do. Wow. But I go, Al, what was the last time you took a subway? He goes, Shit, I don't know. It's been a few years since I take a hey, fucking subway. I want to say something to this audience, <laughs> meaning the people in this room. There's a lot of poor people in this world. Guys, there are. Especially in America. There, and imagine living in a country to everything you just said, Andrew, is absolutely true. There's yes. land of milk and honey. But imagine living in this country where you see everybody living, not everybody, but a large majority of people living great, mm -hmm. and you are poor as shit. Yes, but you have you, you would you have love the, to have, you a have job. the ability to go to school, to learn a trade, to actually pull your uh, say it, you fucking <laughs> pull yourself up God by the bootstrap. You have the ability. <laughs> I got them all, baby. I got them all coming on. No, Let's go. At, at least Yo, you, you have it. You have the ability. You, you are a Republican. What? 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 He's a Republican. One people. He's, he's a Republican. You are a Republican. He's a Republican. Oh, wait. No, it's definitely harder for some than it is for others. Uh, but at least you have the ability. There, you just you don't even ability. have the ability. Pull yourself up by your Like, no matter bootstrap. how hard they work pull over there, no matter how much money Timberland they straps. save, they cannot start a business. I'm with you. They cannot own property. But why can't we do both in America? We can. Like, no, why, yeah. could, why, why couldn't we provide something like that for people who aren't able to do... You But we actually do right have now, a lot bro. of places like that people can yeah, I don't, I, I don't you, know. you know there are people that choose to be homeless, right? Not everybody's just yeah, homeless. It's their choice, exactly. God yeah. damn, There, it's there their are choice. people. No, no, no. Yo, yo. If you go to LA and ask some of the people... When the cops tell you to stop, just Stop it, stop it, stop it. Not for real. Right? Hey, why are we on this topic? When the cops tell you to nah. stop, just resist. Man, shut the fuck up. Oh, <laughs> we almost there. Alex is crazy. Make America no, great again. Make America great again. Alex, America great again. Alex, you know what you Trump is back, Alex, baby. No, you it's a very like, small percentage, no, but there. You sound like the guys who be like, I wouldn't fuck her no way. Yeah. You, yeah. you ain't got a choice. You ain't no. got a choice. You ain't got no option. You're what did he say? You're 350. Naga! 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 You're Naga! This guy is crazy. You're 350 pounds. You got a lazy eye. Lazy eye. You know what I'm saying? Eyes lazy. <laughs> you need to be in a labor force because you ain't got no job. Right. Exactly. So, Eyes lazy. You your whole Stop it. Ethnicity's lazy. <laughs> <It's kind> of... <laughs> yo, son, come on. Why you say that, bro? Re Puerto Rican, yo. Damn, nah, bro. So, Damn, yeah, this guy's a re Puerto Rican. So in the shelters, oh, in the shelters, they have, they have to follow rules. They have to follow rules in the shelters where they can't use drugs, they can't oh, do certain things. So they choose to not be facts. in the shelters so they can live and off. do the things they want to do. Uh, so that's why there are some people that choose to be homeless so they don't have to follow the rules of shelter. Very small I yeah, it is. <laughs> Mas bonita. There's nobody, nobody would, I don't think nobody would make on, the choice Taylor. to be homeless. No, no, I'm oh, telling Taylor. you, there are people. You ain't never seen that before? I think they make, <laughs> I think before. people like that make the choice to be homeless because they only have a couple of options. Yes. I think if you gave them the choice to say, hey, mm. you can work in this labor force, yep. you can make however amount of money a month, yep. we're going to give you free housing, yep. food, transportation to work, I think they would take that deal. Yeah, but yep. now, so imagine if they work hard and then they save up some money. Imagine. They can't even get an apartment and like but get Alex, their own they space. They have to. to. No, so but imagine if they want to, they can't. Over there. Yo, shout out to Abu Dhabi. But they could hear if they wanted to. Y'all figured it out. Yeah, they have the freedom. So why they, can't they we do both? I, that's, I'm why on board. I'm on board with what both. Abu Dhabi provides. I'm on board I, with both. Hey, let's get, I like it. Because by the way, wouldn't <laughs> that help people get on their feet? So once Something. they're on their feet, what could they do? Stand on business. What <laughs> <laughs> the fuck you mean? <laughs> 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 they can stand yeah. on yeah. business, <laughs> Alex. No, I'm You're on. not ready to stand on business. You're not I'm on board with both. Are you standing on business? You ain't standing on business. I'm standing on business. Alex, you ain't standing on business. I'm not standing on business. You're not standing on business. You're not standing on business. Not, you want people to pull it, pull themselves up by their bootstraps. By their bootstraps. Okay. What boots you, you know don't got strapped? <laughs> They ain't even sell boots and straps. What kind of crazy terminology Chris, is Chris, do you think this is too far-fetched of an idea? Uh, I don't even understand what you're really arguing at this point. What's no, me neither. This is the point. Just, yeah. 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 just find the gist Yo, of it. Chris, pick a side. <laughs> pick a side, Pick a side, Chris. Yo, pick a side, Chris. Pick a side, Chris. Pick a side, Chris. Find the meat that you I can... I noticed you didn't go to Abu Dhabi. Find the meat, Chris. What type of meat? There's a, there's a, there's a good debate in here. Yeah, let's find you know the debate. Said? A Chris, the brilliant the idiotness. Find but, the meat. <laughs> what type of meat is it? All I'm simply saying is Abu Dhabi has this, what's it called, Schultz? 
the labor force. And they have sure. a labor force yeah. where they provide housing for people. <laughs> right. Housing. You get food, right. transportation to work. One month off a year that is paid. And I think you get, it's like $190 a week well, in no, America. It, it, it varies. Like if you've been working there longer, you'll obviously yes. get but paid I, more. I, I guess my thing is I don't think people want to do that. I think people do that out of desperation. Yeah, but people day. do. Uh, nobody wants to do most of their jobs. Y'all are so privileged. Like, so like the idea that you get to just do what you want, that's just for us. Schultz, what Aha! No, but, Aha! Aha! <laughs> no what, Aha! Schultz, what Schultz is said crazy. is true. You got to go back Yo! to what Schultz said. Think about where these people Yo! are coming from. We're looking at it from a different perspective because of who we are. But think about where these people are coming from. That's a sweet deal. clock on your dome. What? <laughs> That's a sweet yo, deal, yo, what man. What happens with that? Uh, when you know. feel that steel right on your temple, what happens? Oh, you said Glock. What did you think I said? I thought you said cock. No. I was like, shit. I'm That's how you get that. free housing in America. <laughs> huh? What? He said they have free food there. Yeah. Why you want it? Well, I'm not even going to make the joke. Taylor, like, Taylor, Taylor, yo, it's Taylor, so crazy Taylor, that you can say Taylor, shit. Taylor, 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 <laughs> you really served that up, sir. <laughs> you served it right up. <laughs> and we didn't even. And we didn't even. <laughs> what, what was her only comment on that whole discussion? They got free food over there. They got free there. food? <laughs> Yo, they, hold on. You said they got free food over there. Thanksgiving was just last week, Cameron. God Cameron. damn. I damn. know your mama threw down. <laughs> I got a picture of your mama's pie in my mouth. Beans, bones. greens, potatoes, tomatoes. I know your mama green. threw down. She ran through them leftovers, right? <laughs> Stay at home business. Whoa. Oh, she stayed all bitter. I have a question, though. Like, Please. Look at Taylor Mama Pie. I said that to him. So uh. Taylor Mama Pie so pretty. Yo, with so all due respect, crazy. Yo, your mom's pie is beautiful. And you yo. know what Taylor Mom said? You know what she texted me yo, when she look, sent that? What? I'm going to show it to you. Look, yo. <laughs> with all due respect, look. your mom's pie is beautiful. Okay, she got maybe the what, sweetest what, looking what, pie what Mama said. <laughs> what Taylor Mama said? What Taylor Mama said? Oh, she flirted. Oh, she flirted. Oh, she flirted. What Taylor Mama said? Oh, wow. Oh, she flirted. 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 Yeah. She, 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 that was not you. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. No. Uh-huh. 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 I'll screenshot it to you. I'll let you read it, Taylor. Hey, hey, hey. Hey, what does it say? Oh, what does it say? Uh, uh, that ain't you. That ain't you. Hey. Tell him, mama. Hey, tell him, mama. Crazy. Say. Tell him, tell him, mama. I stand on business. Tell him, mama. I stand on business. Tell him, mama. Got the sweetest pie. With all due respect. With all due respect. With all due respect. Tell him. With all due respect. Why are you mad that we're complimenting your mama's pie? Me. Uh, it's, like with me. it's a picture of your mama's Stop. pie. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with me. And it says if you act Stop and it says and it says Tell if you me. act Tell right. Me. I swear Tell to God. Me. Does it not say it's the same text message right here too? Hold on. Your mama sitting both. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. Yo! Yo. Sit down. <laughs> 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 Oh. <laughs> we bad. Yeah. We bad, baby. Yo, we bad. Oh. Yo, we got to record it afternoon. We got to record it afternoon. I'm staying afternoon. on business, yeah. yo. This is bad. Hold on. Let's pay some bills. Yeah. Man. Yo. Oh, salute the policy genius. <laughs> salute the policy genius, man. The holidays, baby. It is the holiday season. This is the season. The holidays not only allow us to spend time with family, but are a reminder of how important our responsibility is to protect them. That includes planning to secure their future. Life insurance is an easy way to give your family peace of mind. It provides a safety net so if something were to happen to you, your family can cover expenses while getting back on their feet, okay? Luckily, Policy Genius helps you compare your options from top companies and their team of licensed experts are on, on hand to help you talk through it, okay? Or... 
on hand to help talk you through it. Even if you already have a life insurance policy through work, it may not, it may not offer enough protection for your family's needs, and it may, na- it may not follow you if you leave your job. With Policy Genius, you can find life insurance policies that start at just $292 per year for $1 million of coverage. You hear that? Wow. A million dollars of coverage. Some options offer same-day approval, and avoid unnecessary medical exams. Policy Genius knows how valuable your time is. Their technology makes it easy to compare life insurance quotes from America's top insurers and just a few clicks to find your lowest price. Policy Genius has licensed, award-winning agents who can help you find the best fit for your needs. They work for you, not the insurance companies. That means they don't have an incentive to recommend one insurer over another so you can trust their guidance. Policy Genius is for parents, caregivers, and anyone else who has people who depend on them. They simplify the process of getting life insurance so you can protect the people you love. No wonder they have thousands of five-star reviews on Google and Trustpilot. Your family deserves peace of mind. A life insurance policy through Policy Genius can give it to them. Head to policygenius.com slash idiots or click the link in the description to get your free life insurance quote and see how much you could save. That's policygenius.com slash idiots. Let's get back to the show. Uh, just to put a button on it, though, salute to Abu Dhabi. Great place. I think, Amazing. I think there's a lot of things that uh, America can learn from Abu Dhabi. And vice versa. Yeah, you know what I mean? absolutely. And vice versa. As we all should. That's cultural exchange. It's beautiful to see this. Beautiful, man. And, and I mean, go out there. Like, it, it's it's an awesome place to go experience. And to everything we're saying, you know, we say, Chris, you said that you don't think people would want to do that. All I'm simply saying is it shows in their society. When you have little to no crime, we, don't we always so say it that is all you got to do is provide so for people? Safe. It's beyond safe. Like, leave your purse sitting around safe. Leave your wallet sitting around safe. Mm-hmm. Leave your doors unlocked if you want to. That's the type of stuff we used to do growing up in the country, like in mm-hmm. the, in the eight, eight, 1980s, 1980-something. Mm-hmm. So I'm just saying it is something to, hey, if you simply provide for people and people got enough, like their basic needs are met, it reflects in your society. That's all I'm simply saying. Basic needs are met. That's, That's it. more than basic needs. I think it's that more than basic needs. there's yes. luxury. There's luxury. That's all I'm saying. Um, let's do some of your shit, Taylor. <laughs> what's this shit called? Memes. By any what's this that shit make called? you dance. All me memes. Memes that make We've you been dance. gone for two weeks. It's been so oh, much. You better what, have a lot of shit and stop the, fucking around. All right. <laughs> I, yo, Taylor. Don't get added to this. Not don't get added to this list, yo. What list? That list was crazy last week. Wait, what's the list? That list, it was just like well, I missed it. I was in Australia. Like names were, it was just a list of that list was crazy. This is what? This is the Didster? Here, here's the thing. Here's <laughs> this the, thing. the Didster? Here's the thing about the Diddy situation. Right? Yeah, but give us a thing about the Diddy situation. I saw people yo, saying how Taylor, I swear to God. You don't realize the reach I have in my legs. Yeah, shut up. Yo, I, I saw people saying how. Hey, it's a real one. <laughs> I saw people saying how there's a lot of people not talking about this situation. And this is what I would say. Hmm. What are you supposed to say? Because mm-hmm. if you're a podcaster, if you're a YouTuber, if you're just a person on social media, you can say all types of stuff. Hmm. You know what I mean? When people say things like, yo, you know, nobody's talking about this, it's because what y'all want people to say is, oh, he did that shit. You know? He did that shit. You want us to sound like the internet. Yeah. And you want us to start talking about, you know, well, I heard he did this then, and I heard he did that then. The reality of the situation is you can't do anything except for report about what actually came out Mm. in this situation. He got sued. He settled. For all of it? I don't know. I, I, I don't heard know. all of it. Well, if he did, I think the, the, com- the conversation we could have without, you know, uh, becoming products of a lawsuit ourselves. Well, we could just say allegedly for everything right now, and then we could start having fun again. But even with that, <laughs> but even with that, what's the, or even with that, what's the point of that, though? That's fun. So we can have fun. Yeah, it's fun until it's not you. That could easily be anybody in this room. No. Yeah, it could be. Not that shit. People make up stuff all the time. By the way, I don't, I'm not saying this is made up. Yeah. I'm just saying people make up things all the time. My point is, I don't know if any of this is true or not. So let's just say, even if we're saying allegedly, we say something like, oh, did he beat women? Or did he rapes women? I didn't say that. But my point is, that is what people want. I said he pays women that say he did that. 
<laughs> that's but by that's like, a fact. Come on, come on, come on. But show that's that's he that's where I was going. That's where I was going. You know what? A, you, know, you know what a good conversation is? What is that? Is settling a lawsuit an admission of guilt? I didn't say that he that he's admitting guilt. But I'm I saying, is it though? Is settling a lawsuit like this an admission of guilt? No. It's not like you're legally you're saying, or what do the streets think? Mm. Nah, legally. I'm gonna fuck the streets is what gets niggas sued. Ooh. And crackers. But stop. <laughs> <laughs> fuck the streets. Legally. What did we do? <laughs> we didn't have anything to do with this. Let's, let's, let's talk legally. Is this, if no. you said, is it an admission of guilt? Ooh. Not at all. Okay, break it down. Because it's not admitting guilt. You're settling so you don't have to go to trial. Yes. Because sometimes going to trial can cost you more money, not only on the trial, but in terms of public perspective than just settling. And when public perception, public perception, yeah, perception. And when somebody settles, you start to think, oh, they just wanted money. So once somebody, like, if you want justice for a crime, a lot of times people will go, okay, you go the criminal route, not the civil. Exactly. When you're just going the civil route. To me, it speaks a little bit to, uh-oh, this person might be after some money. That being said, there might be enough information out there or this trial could get ugly enough where Diddy and his team are like, yo, we just got to pay her and then try to bury this shit. And that's always been the old school way, right? Like, you know, if you read about like the Michael Jackson situation, you'll see things where Johnny Cochran told Michael, like, look, man, you know, I know you're getting advice to settle, but once you settle... That door is never going to stop getting knocked on. Mm. There's going to be people coming all the time, mm -hmm. you know, looking, making accusations because they know you're going to settle. But wasn't this tied in specifically to a New York state law that was going to expire at the end of last week? Yeah. But, what but I, I don't know if you can bring... What was it? Statute of limitations? Something. I what was it for? It was a specific law. It's the, uh, I know what you're talking about. I know, it's I know like what a victim's law. I don't know if you could actually... You might have only been able to do a uh, civil under it, is what I'm thinking. But I'll check. But that don't mean, that don't mean anything. You could see, you could still uh, go criminal, especially with the stuff that is, she alleged. Is there no? Yeah, is there no statute? Yeah, with the stuff that she alleged, you could definitely still do uh, criminal if, if you wanted to. If if it happened so long ago and you don't have any proof, then it's it wasn't that long ago though. I mean, it's hard to prove rape without like a rape yeah, kid, the adult survivors, and, you know, witnesses and things like that. I, I would think so, you know, but clearly in in, in criminal because you need to you need okay, all so twelve. Okay, so let's let's look at both sides. <clears throat> Jurors, one side. Let's look at the side that there's two outcomes here, right? Oh, well, there's multiple, but two uh, extreme outcomes. One extreme outcome is this is potential. She's just after his money. She's maybe realized that she can't make any more money or she's realized, you know what? I don't want to be in the industry anymore. So I have nothing to lose by outing this person and being yeah. looked at. That All way. this is true. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. so I'm going to go after his money. Uh, that's one potential one. And then he did absolutely none of it. That is potential. There's another version of that where some of this stuff might have happened, maybe not all of it, but she's still like, you know what? I want to get paid for the trauma that I endured with this person. That's another potential option. Then there's another option where like every single part of it happened and now Diddy's like, oh shit, the walls are coming, crumbling down and I need to, you know, close, what is it called? Um, stop this leak because these Impossible. other leaks are starting to happen Impossible. and then it falls apart. Impossible in this era. To stop the leaks. Impossible. Right. Impossible in this era. Because, you know, even, you go, I'm going back to Michael Jackson again. And that's why I said what I said earlier. There is always copycats in situations like this. Yes. You don't know whether these things are real or not. Johnny Cochran, God bless the dead, literally told Michael. Yeah. If you settle this one. Everybody's coming. I'm telling you, there's going to be a bunch of people coming saying, hey, this person did this, this person did that. They're going to reflect they on that some party that you went there that they were at. And they're going to be like, you know what? He did uh, grab my butt when I walked by, and I thought it was just kind of fun at the moment. We were all just kind of hanging out and partying. But now that I think about it, he assaulted me, and that's fucked up, and he's paying, so let's get that money. And by so, the way, I'm not, I don't, I don't want to diminish anything that, you know, that, that, any allegations made against him. That's a potential option. Yes. What I'm, say, I'm not saying that this is every option. I'm saying it is possible 100%. that someone could see financial incentive and then take advantage of it and then sue him when something didn't happen. It's also very possible that women are now emboldened or empowered by this Absolutely. first person doing it. And they go, wow, now I feel safe enough to go after this powerful man, an incredibly powerful Absolutely. man. Okay, I'm going to also file a lawsuit based on this very real thing that happens. Absolutely. All these are possible. 
Absolutely. I mean, that's why that's why I asked the question. Is it an admission of guilt to settle? I, I don't think it is a legal admission of guilt, but I think the public starts to speculate about your guilt. And, I'm, and, and by you saying that is exactly why people cannot have a conversation about this. Well, we just because did. You, we did, but you can't have the conversation that the public wants you to have. Oh, the they just want the their public, feelings that's satisfied. Exactly. Yeah. The public don't want you to actually look at it from a nuanced uh, perspective. Has they it, just want yeah. you to pick a side that's and say it. either you believe them or you don't believe them. All I'm simply telling y'all motherfuckers is you can jump out there on your podcast, you can jump out there on your YouTube channels, and you can say whatever you feel. You can call him a yeah. rapist, you can call him a woman beater, but when you get served with a lawsuit, mm -hmm. and we'll see. When you get served with a lawsuit, just know. Now, this does not apply to 50 Cent because he can do whatever the hell he wants because he... Y'all not paying attention. 50, 50 is the smartest. Oh, he is I, the 50, smartest. 50 is the smartest. The 50 smartest. 50 has not once said one thing. this man yeah. anything. He's just reposting what other people say. He is... The, he's he's like the news. He's watch the CNN, mm. watch MSNBC, watch NBC, and watch how they report on stuff like this. Mm. All they do is report the story in, in the details, the allegations that are made in it. He's the GOAT. That's all 50's doing. Mm. Nothing he else. He's the GOAT. The problem that y'all be running into, a lot of you new media personalities, is because y'all think y'all can have an opinion and y'all think y'all feelings matter. <laughs> Your feelings do not matter because none of that has been proven in the my court of law. My feelings matter. I'm just saying. Like, yeah, be, you, he has not been proven I to be a rapist or a woman beater in a court of law. And she did not attempt to prove that. This is very important. She did not attempt to prove that he was that in the court of law. Yeah. She attempted to use that allegation to get money out of him. And when she was offered money, she accepted. And that is important. Now, that's well, not- no, Well, well uh, to, according to the court documents, they had been trying to work out a deal for a while and, and she wasn't accepting. So- Well, he wasn't accepting of yeah. her terms. <laughs> Well, he's, neither party was yeah, accepting. Yeah, yeah, she's yeah, like, yeah. I want this yeah, much. He yeah, said no. She's like, yeah. all right, well, I'm going to go public with this by shit. The way, we'll see. By the way, she won on both fronts. Yes. Because you got your story out. Yeah. Court of Public Opinion is having a field day. Uh-huh. And you got paid. And we remember how absolutely beautiful she was. And and beautiful. you might, and, and, and to your point you just now, you might have opened the door for other people who may have a story. Yes. Now, you know, I think I there's part of us that's always like, you know what? I want, I want you to seek justice. Because if someone has done something wrong, I want them to be punished outside of you know money. If he's worth billions of dollars, then this is a drop in the bucket. But this might be justice. Yeah, why is money not justice? Yeah, why you said that you brought this up on flagrant. I thought that that was a great point. I think money can also be justice, but with not our, just money, but watching a person's whole empire crumble. So that's the other thing. It's like watching the empire crumble might be justice because you could make the argument that it was the empire that enabled him to do these things if he did them, right? So without that apparatus and that power, how could he continue this behavior? Yeah. Allegedly. Allegedly. So yeah. you could make the argument that that is happening. But if he was in jail for this, he also couldn't do those things. And then some victims might have seen like they've, they've received more justice. Now, as somebody who's been in the industry for a while, have you heard any of these rumors? No. I never heard rumors. I, I only heard he was gay. That was the only rumor that I heard about. That. I'll be honest. That's alleged, but like for you, like my mind fucking exploded. Like I thought he loved guys' cocks. I didn't realize that he was out here allegedly doing by, these things the to way, women. This is how we know the world is becoming more progressive because in the lawsuit, she talks about how allegedly he mm -hmm. would hire male prostitutes to fuck her and jack off. And to he him. would jerk freak offs. He called him a freak off. Yeah, I mean, nobody cared. I mean, I don't think that's gay. I mean, that's what you do when you watch porn. You watch a male prostitute fuck a female prostitute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, nobody cared. It's weird when it's your girl. It's funny, though. But it's, it's not gay. Yeah. Like, we, we jerk off to guys <laughs> well, all the time. Well, they just be, are fucking Being that I listen to horrible decisions, <laughs> I know what that's called. What? Cuckolding. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's he called cuckolding. allegedly enjoys a nice cuckolding. And today, well, to we're recording this on a Tuesday, did he step down as chairman of Revolt? Go back to that 50 Cent post. And I'm going to tell you why 50 is literally the, is a diabolical genius. And, and, and he, he's, 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 first of all, you can read 48 for you, Laws Taylor. of Power and Good all of that stuff like that. You can read The Art of War by Sun Tzu, but it got to be in you. 
50 po he posts Diddy reportedly takes temporary leave as chairman of Revolt amid sexual assault lawsuits. 50 says, I'll buy that from you, Playboy, for the low, because you know Cadillac and AT&T going to pull out. Those are the sponsors, I presume? Yes. I'll give you a few dollars for it now. Sell it to me, then we can be friends. I'm serious. Call my phone. Why do y'all think that was a, a genius thing to post? He's basically telling Cadillac and AT&T to yep. pull out. And, and, and telling people who the sponsors who the, who the sponsor. are. So if they want to harass Cadillac and AT&T, that'll happen. And once the money comes out... It's a wrap. Mm. It's, really, it's, a, it's a wrap. This guy, man. This guy... 50's 50, not to be fucked no. with. No. Don't 50's fuck not to be fucked with, with. Fifth. Y'all don't even... Fifth is fifth Play is around different. if you want to. Fifth is different. And he's on tour. <laughs> he ain't even in America. <laughs> he's waking up in random countries. <laughs> at all times of the night. Shutting yeah. it down. It's 3 o'clock in the afternoon where he at. <laughs> then performing in arenas. What is that That about? was crazy. That was crazy. That was crazy. But hey, <laughs> Fifth walked out. That Wait, was crazy. <laughs> Wait, this is the video of, of Puffy patting Jay-Z on the butt. <laughs> and 50 caption is, 20 machine guns, only get 10 months. Diddy in the back patting on niggas' butts. Nah, I ain't with it. I ain't never been with it. <laughs> but what is that about 20 machine guns, 10 months? He trying to, that's a shot at T.I. About what? When T.I. got uh, locked up with all those guns. Yeah, but he stood on business. He stood on business. He did 10 months, he stood on business. He did stand on business. Or are you saying that he might have gotten a deal or preferential treatment? I mean, 50 said that before. So 50 alleges that T.I. is an informant? Yeah, but T.I. is not an informant. There's no such thing as a secret informant. Like, no. What about Whitey Bulger? He was a secret informant for years. But eventually he got they found out. Once no, he start, got killed. None of the people found but out. But I thought once you start going to court, doesn't the informant no. have to take the stand against you? No, what's up with Whitey, the Irish, the guy up in Boston? He was like an informant. He was like working all angles. Yeah, but he would just like tip off the FBI and other agencies, but he's not like going into court and... Given. So it's like they'll lead to arrest and they would arrest usually his competition and things like that. So it's like an informant in that way where you're working with the cops. Did you hear about Whitey Bulging? Stop it. <laughs> Charlie, you gotta like <laughs> set it up it different. Yo, it's one of the smartest, right. He's one of the smartest human beings I've ever met. Come in my on. Life. But his inability to get this is like confounding. Like I no, no. I wasn't going to do it. I heard it, and I was like, hey, ooh. I'm gonna but then... I need to see him <laughs> fuck this up. When I heard Whitey it, Bulger who? Now, why would I say who if I just brought him up? <laughs> I know him. <laughs> but no, I said Whitey Bulging. Even <laughs> worse. That's worse. <laughs> <laughs> I said Whitey Bulging. <laughs> Wait, but then how are you even going to finish that? <laughs> <laughs> how, how are you going to finish that, though? That's a good question. Yeah. I, 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 it's, it's, it's a lot of different scenarios in my mind. Um, I don't know where I was going with it. But I, it's like, you know, why he bulging? Why de bulging in those pants? <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're fucking ditty, bro. <laughs> Yo, so, I don't even so, get it. What is going on right now? Why? By the way, let me tell you something. Yeah, tell us something else. <laughs> I was in Abu Dhabi. Right? Yeah, tell us about Abu Dhabi. <laughs> I got a haircut on Friday. All right. And they had a. You uh, still call it that? Yeah. <laughs> They had a salon downstairs. Right? Call it a shape. Yeah. <laughs> a so haircut. They was like, yeah, the guy can cut your hair downstairs. So I go downstairs. <laughs> Mind you. It's not a haircut. But, but that's what I'm saying. Removal of the hair. But that's what I'm saying. It's so simple for me because I'm bald headed. Like, you know, a little shave. It's nothing, right? So it's not like I got to. Yeah, you got to shave. It's not a shave. haircut. Yeah, it's nothing, right? Like women don't give their legs a haircut. Yeah, they get waxed. They shave. They shave. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You shave. So I'm going to get shaved, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm like, yeah. okay, I'll go down. I'll go down there. And, and if, the, if the person is in the salon, yeah, living, the person living is in the, in the glory salon, days. they can do a shave, right? Yeah. We're in the Middle East, a lot of brown people, black people. They know how to do they a They know shave. what they're doing, right? Yeah, yeah. So I go downstairs, man, and um, there's a Filipino guy. Uh-oh. Filipino guy. Cool. Yeah. You know? And anything on the Mastiff? It's not, dude, it's kind of crazy. Get so scared. Filipino, anything on the Mastiff? 
I was asking what. <laughs> I was asking what. Asking what a match. Just is. move on because you don't even know what it is. I'm not going to talk about it. So I'm in there, and the only reason I knew you're Filipino because we got into a conversation. You know, I'm like somebody's cutting your hair. That's a very but intimate also, thing. Also, they'll have. I don't really have to say that massive if you want, but they'll have trinkets and stuff that would. Oh no, no, no! I didn't see none of that. I get what okay. you thought. I, I did. I, 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 I could look at him and tell he was some sort of Asian. So, so you don't know if he's actually Filipino. No, he was. Did he have a master? No, listen, we started talking. <laughs> this is crazy. I'm not asking you what that is. Okay? So we started talking, right? Diddy or not? <laughs> no, did what do you mean, Diddy or not? <laughs> did he or not have a past? No. Yeah. I don't know what, no. He didn't, right? So we're talking, right? Did so, he or did he not have my stiff dick and <laughs> <laughs> so we get into a conversation. He tells me he's from the Philippines, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I go, oh, Mahal Kita. And he goes, thank you. Thank you, right? Yeah. When I told this man Mahal Kita, this man proceeded to give me one of the best shaves of my life. Really? Probably top three. This man, it's like he started seducing me, y'all. He goes, he goes, let me wash your hair. Guys, I don't have hair, <laughs> right? So he puts me in front of the basin, the warm water, the lather. He's just rubbing my shit. It's like a massage on my scalp. Then he rinses yeah. it off. Then he blow dries me and he pats me dry. Then he proceeds to shave me. And he's giving me like all of this intricate detail. Like he's just, he's just touching my face in such a nice, soft dare I say, sensual way. You know what I mean? So then after, <laughs> after he gives me the shave, he goes, let me wash your hair again. So he puts me back under the basin, washes me, washes my hair. Then he sits me down, he blow dries it, then he pulls out all these creams and these fragrances. Blow dries what? My scalp. <laughs> then he gives me this head massage. Bruh, he did my... He did my head. Like, you ever seen somebody when they're molding is, clay? yeah. He was doing my scalp like that. And I'm sitting there like, yo, this dude is risen me the fuck up right now. Did he? Brick and factory? it's working. Did you, did you get anything? No bulge. But you know what? <laughs> I let myself go. I said, you know what? I'm going to let myself go. This feels <laughs> amazing. If I get a blackie bulger, I, if I get a blackie bulger, then it was meant to happen. Right? Sure. Okay. <laughs> All I'm simply trying to tell you, yes, that's how it look. Holy shit, Taylor. How the fuck did you find it? What the fuck? She just pulled up. Yes. She just pulled up Bugs Bunny giving Elmer Fudd a shave. This is how this Filipino man was doing me. This kind of detail. Creams, fragrances, fingers. Yes. Yes. He was doing this type shit standing on my head, bro. Wash, like you don't even understand. Laying me at the basin, washing me with just the utmost care, and he's talking to me as he's doing it. He oh, tossed you your like salad this? too. <laughs> <laughs> you like this? I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I moaned, bro. <laughs> what? Stop it. Stop I moaned, man. Stop it. You don't gotta do this. I moaned. When I let myself go, when I let myself go, and I said, I'm just gonna relax and be in the moment, I was just like, <sighs> no. And he goes, Tension. <laughs> tension. You have so much tension. Just relax. Just relax. 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 <laughs> bro, you gonna this get is... this gay Filipino thrown off a building in Abu Dhabi, bro. <laughs> they gonna find out exactly who this is. They gonna be like, I, I he knew gay. he was gay. I don't I don't think he was gay. Just I think, he no. jerked off your head. No. <laughs> so, <laughs> he means not gay, son. Man, and you told him you love him in his and language. Yes, That's Mahal probably Kita, like they call, you. you know? Listen, we tell each other we love each other. <laughs> yes, but... He's not expecting you to know that. And, so, and, and now by he's the way, like, oh. that's why manners will take you where money won't. And that's why being respectful of people's cultures will, 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 will get you, you know, great experiences. I don't want nah, that, bro. I don't want that great of an experience. You ain't, had, nah, you, you ain't had what I had. If you <laughs> nah. had that shave that I got, you'd want that, bro. You'd want to feel like that, yo. Come on, bro.
What's up? This is crazy. Come on, bro. This get is back in there, bro. Yeah, yeah, yo, 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 yeah. Get in there, bro. Get out of here. No more, bro. We're not doing this no more, bro. Get your ass back in there, bro. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, shout out to the Filipino man. Yo, still, yo, still yo. putting out the back call. <laughs> <laughs> like, give in, his, give his barber shop though. <laughs> give the barber shop. Let <laughs> people know. I don't know the name of it, man. Let's pay some bills. Yo. Prize picks is the most fun. I've had winning up to 25 times my money this football season, and now I can play during basketball season, too. You just select two or more players, pick more or less on their projected stats, and place your entry. With the basketball season here, you can now pick combo projections across football and basketball from the Specials League, a league created specifically for combo projections that includes two or more players from different sports or leagues. For example, LeBron James and Travis Kelsey at a 10.5 combo of three points made and receptions. Want to play alongside some of Prize Pick's favorite players, like rapper Meek Mill, our internationally renowned comedian Andrew Schultz. Hey. You can find now community plays under the promos tab of the app to view entries from some of the biggest names in the Prize Picks community each week. This week on Prize Picks, I am selecting Easy Call Stephen Curry for more than 29 points and Big Jokic Nikola, Nikola Jokic for more than 10 rebounds. Easy call, right? Easy. Easy. Prize Picks even offers a reboot policy so that your entries stay in play even if one of your players gets injured. For football and basketball games, if you have a player who exits the game in the first half and does not return in the second, that player is rebooted. That's Prize amazing. Picks is the only... Huh? That's amazing. They get injured? Yes. It's like... Yeah. Yeah. Prize Picks is the only daily fantasy sports platform with an injury insurance policy. Prize Picks is really simple to play. I can make my picks and submit my entry in less than 60 seconds. Quick withdrawals, easy gameplay, and an enormous selection of players and stat types are what make Prize Picks the number one daily fantasy sports app. Do you have any personal experiences, Schultz? Dude, of course I have. Honestly, I throw my locks up there. You guys can go check my locks. Mm. And by locks, I put quotes under there, but basically you can check my picks every single gosh. Darn weak. Okay. And your boy's out here slanging. Well, that's what I gotta say. Slanging. So follow what I do if you're trying to make money. Simple as that. Slinging that whitey bulge. Yeah. Get started now. Go to prospect.com slash idiots and use code idiots for a first deposit match up to $100. That's a $100 first deposit match when you sign up at prospect.com slash idiots and use code idiots. Prize picks daily fantasy sports made easy. Guys, this episode is also brought to you by Skylight Frames. Listen, holiday shopping stresses you out, and you're looking for a perfect no-fail gift to give. It is difficult. We know that. There are different levels of gifts to give to different people, but it can be incredibly difficult. Sometimes you just want to know what you're giving somebody is going to be successful, something they need, something they look great, and something they absolutely love. This right here is that. Okay, the gift is so easy that everyone will think you spent hours personalizing Skylight Digital Picture Frame. Skylight is a touchscreen photo frame you can send photos to straight from your phone and they appear in seconds. You can even preload photos before the box is open. So when it's unwrapped and plugged in, the your, your most treasured memories will instantly appear. Skylight Frame is like a baby book or time capsule that will save and beautifully display each and every special moment, perfect for commemorating a special event like a wedding, honeymoon, or reliving on your shared memories together. Invite multiple friends and family members to share photos to the same frame. Effortlessly send the photos um, from the frame with the free Skylight app or unique email. It is so easy to use. Setup takes less than 60 seconds. Swipe through the photos on the touch screen. Tap to see new photos sent. Tap the heart button and say thank you to the sender. It is a beautiful way to stay connected with the most engaging, amazing moments in your life. And as a special limited time offer for our listeners, you can get $15 off your purchase of a Skylight Frame when you go to skylightframe.com slash idiots. To get $15 off your purchase of a Skylight Frame, just go to skylightframe.com slash idiots. That's S-K-Y-L-I-G-H-T-F-R-A-M-E dot com slash idiots. Now, let's get back to the show. Church announcements. 
But we got Schultz. Los Angeles. Uh, today is, uh, is Tuesday. We just went on pre-sale for the L.A. Forum. Hey. The iconic L.A. The Forum. The whole new magic built. That's facts, bro. That is facts. So, uh, so stoked, man. By the time this comes out, um, I don't know where we're going to be. Hopefully, we'll already be sold out. Uh, but theandrewshows.com, you can get tickets for that right there. Uh, thank you guys so much. Excited about the LA Forum. That's history right there. Man, come on, that man. Is... I'm just happy you're selling out all these arenas, man. Man, it's crazy, you know what I'm saying? It's always amazing when a Latin pop star <laughs> internationally does his thing, but then La comes to loca. America and gets that kind of love, bro, bro. La vida loca, man. It was crazy going on. And thank you so much, everybody in Australia. Like, doing... I don't know, man. Doing the arenas in a foreign country is just insane. Like, you just... Bro, getting love in a foreign country, man. That's the thing. Like, like, being able to just perform in another country is amazing, but then you go... We're walking to these venues, and it's like... You're just blown away. Like, the whole block is the venue? There's a difference. <laughs> and I, I've said this a million times. There's a, it, it, I, I, I'll, I'll take value over viral all day long. Because mm -hmm. when you actually add something of value to the marketplace, mm -hmm. it's undeniable. Like I'm telling you, yeah. I was in. You were in Dubai two weeks ago, and you sold out. What was that place called? We were like a month the, in Abu Dhabi. We were at the uh, arena there in Abu Dhabi. Oh, it was Abu Dhabi. Yeah, that's yeah. when that whole six thousand people. The Etihad Arena. Yes. Yeah. You know how many people came up to me in Abu Dhabi, and literally said they went to show show. Isn't that crazy? Mm. Like yeah. they listened to Brandy's. I met a podcast. I met a, what's my guy named AB. He got a podcast that they call AB Talks. Mm. You know what I'm saying? He's a big podcaster out there. Like you. That's different to me. That stuff like that is always surreal to me because you know we come in here and we do our thing in whatever studio we're in at the time and we just work. Yeah. And to know that you're reaching and not just reaching but connecting, connecting with people, man. People like, want to come out. Legitimate show love. connections. Like. Yeah. The, the stuff people was telling me this week is mind blowing, man. I'm not even gonna lie. Like like the way they feel about us. I'm stoked you went out there. It's mind blowing. Yeah. Like I'm not even joking. It's mind blowing. It's it's, it's literally like, wow. What do you got? What's up with you, my boy? What What do you got? What uh? Uh, Invisible Generals by my man Doug Melville. That's out right now. Okay. Uh, available everywhere you buy books. Make sure you go support that. And you know, uh, uh SBH Productions, my company with uh, Kevin Hart at Audible. Um, last what's the what's today? Last week Thursday, we released uh, our latest Audible original, which is called Broke Down. Profits. Mm. Broke Down Profits is by world-renowned New York Times best-selling author S.A. Cosby and spans seedy locales on the East Coast to the familiar grounds of the South. And it is a it's a, it's a crime story. So you get you, it's about a crime spree um, where you get to meet a person named Preach and Digit and Maria, three lost and damaged souls trying to make it on the streets in New York City, running petty scams to stay alive. Uh, a twist of events changes their lives forever when they accidentally kill a man connected to the mob and find a small fortune. So if you uh, have an Audible subscription, you should go check out <coughs> Broke Down Profits. Stars from very, uh, some very interesting people. You know, Brian Tyree Henry is, is one of the stars of it. Uh, Dasha Polanco, uh, Donnell Rawlings has a role, and uh, Jonathan Majors. So you can go check out Broke Down Profits right now on Audible, courtesy of uh, SBH Productions. Gang, gang, And gang. Um, next week, uh, December 4th, the week of the 4th, I'll be back uh, hosting The Daily Show. Woo! Yeah, I'll, be wow. back, I'll be back hosting The Daily Show Woo! next week. Monday through Thursday. Hyped? So yeah, it's fun, man. I told you, that's, like, it's a system. Like I, like, I like playing in those kind of systems. Like, yeah. It's the same thing like when you come here to do Brilliant Idiots. We have a system, you know? We freestyle a little it's, bit. Uh, it's ours, though. It's our system. Nobody else can do it. Yeah, yeah. That's why yeah. they hate when other people come here and do it. Yeah. You know, yeah, but yeah. it's ours. We know what we're doing. Yeah. You know, so it's yeah. our system. It's like when I get up in the morning for Breakfast Club, it's a system. Like, it's a system. So when you learn how to play in somebody's system, which is hard for some people to do. Yeah. It's, it's, it's fun. Now you can flourish. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's fun. It's, I love it's it. Fun. It's fun. I love it. I look I forward it. to it next it. week. Uh, what else we got, Taylor? What else we got? Oh, Dolly Parton. Salute to Dolly Parton, yo. Coming out of the fucking Cowboys game looking Let amazing. See this. Let me see this. Dolly's 77 years old, bro. Let me see them fat chicks. Come on, man. <laughs> Come on, man. Wait, she's what? 77. There's no way. 70 fucking seven. That's somebody's grandma, bro. Oh, God bless. That's somebody's grandma, bro. Do you think she had work done? Dolly? 
I mean, her abdomen looks incredible. Her legs look incredible. What kind boobs. of work? See, we, we, we say that stuff about Dolly, but the work Dolly probably got was probably in the 40s. That's so it didn't I'm hold saying. up. You know yeah. what I mean? So this can't just be work. You know what I mean? It's got to be genetics or something. She just looked good. She's 77 years old, man. Dolly Parton out here looking. She's almost 80 years old, Taylor. You can't give it up old. for that beautiful no, ivory that queen. What, what do you mean? mean? What are you talking about? Nah, that work in the 40s was crazy, Taylor. Come on now. She got her boob job when they put oatmeal in there. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, porridge. <laughs> it wasn't even oatmeal, it was porridge. Come on, Taylor. Exactly. Come on, porridge, yo. Porridge, man. God damn, Yeah, yeah, yo. she look good for 77, man. Uh, she look active. White women really age the best, bro, like when you think about <laughs> nah, it. Nah, nah, this is, this is an anomaly. Come on, cut it out. This is an anomaly. This is, this is an anomaly. Like, Taylor, Dolly got black in her family. Me. You know what I'm saying? You think she's part black? Got to yes. be, bro. Got to be, bro. Damn, bro. You know where she got her name from? What? You know Parton. Oh. You had I Why gave I gave you the opportunity. It made me nervous. You could have touched it. It made me nervous. It made me nervous. I really wanted him to get nervous. one. It made me nervous. I really wanted him to get one. He, he almost had you. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Too, he did. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't think of what it was yet. No, you I knew didn't. that. <laughs> I didn't. Because it was close. I did. Because it was close. Oh my God. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't. <laughs> I didn't. Yo, let me hear my man Draymond, man. Draymond Green has no regrets. About what? <laughs> Choking out Rudy Gobert. I missed this. I ain't hear this for. I don't live my life with regrets. Like I said before, I'll come to a teammate's defense anytime that there's a, I'm in a position to come to a teammate's defense. That's what a team is. You stick together uh, through the good and the bad. And I take that to heart. And reflecting over on the whole incident, I think for me is um, what matters to me is how the people that I care about feel. The way the media portray you is like, you're supposed to like crack or something. That's not gonna be me. It's just never as bad as it seems. I think it's always just trying to find what's the lesson that need to be collected in the situation, and that's how I reflect. Nah, bro, we ain't just bumping our gums, yo. We calling it what it is. First of all, salute to the GOAT, Draymond Green, yep. to God, yep. okay? Yep. One of my favorite players in the NBA. This is for probably, COVID. Probably my favorite player <laughs> in the NBA. You know what I mean? He don't fuck with Rudy Gobert. He been waiting for an opportunity. All that stuff he said about being a great teammate is true. He ain't gonna let nobody fuck with Clay. He ain't gonna let nobody fuck with Steph. They got history. They are bound together forever. But you enjoyed that shit, Draymond. You enjoyed choking the shit out of Rudy Gobert. And I ain't mad at you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You need a Draymond Green. Yep. Draymond Green looks foreign to y'all because y'all didn't grow up in the 1990s. All right? He's one of the last enforcers. I know Charles Oakley says he's the last enforcer. Nah, big old Draymond, because he's still out there. Yeah. Carrying on tradition. Draymond tradition. gets busy, bro. Yes. He Draymond carrying on tradition that Charles Oakley, precedent that Charles Oakley set, Anthony Mason, Bill Lambeer. Mm. You know what I mean? Mm. Those were led Robert Parrish. Ooh. Legendary hitmen, man. Legendary hitmen. Yeah. What? Nah, this nah, they, nah. Back in the day, nah. nah. <laughs> but you know that Rudy Gobert started COVID, right? Mm -hmm. When he he made fun of it and he coughed and he rubbed the fucking. I remember that shit. So think about how many people he choked out. <laughs> this is what we call payback you in ain't America. Wrong when you write, thank you, Dre. You ain't thank wrong you, Dre. You, write. you ain't wrong when you write. Shout out to Draymond Green. Mm -hmm. Okay, better than any vaccine. Draymond, <laughs> the vaccine Green. That's what the fuck his name is from now Bruh. on. Draymond Bruh. the Vaccine Green. All right? Got COVID the fuck up out of here. What else we got, Taylor? Again? Shout out to Erica Badu, man. The icon living, covering the Germany Men of the Year cover for GQ. What is this thing where GQ puts, like, women as the men of the year? What's... It, men's reaction. it really is. It is. Right? And we fall for it every time. Exactly. <laughs> but why? I don't get it. Like, what's their logic behind it? It's the same way how Me? the magazines put I, yeah, I didn't even a realize, trans yeah, person I, as woman as it. I'm gonna be honest with you. I didn't even realize this was the minute of the year cover until I said it just now. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I just thought Erica was on the cover of GQ. I read the headline. Erica Badu covers Germany minute of the year cover. I just thought Erica was on the cover. First of all, 
I will always salute Erica Badu because she's one of the greatest artists ever in the history of life. And then when you really look at this, right, and this will always be talking about quality over quantity, right? Erica Badu, hold on, let me pull this up. I was looking at this the other day. Erica Badu has not put an album out since 2010. Still relevant. Really? No, New America Part 2 was her last album in 2010. Wow. And she's only got five albums. Baduism, Mama's Gun, Worldwide Underground, New America Part 1, New America Part 2. Five albums, hasn't dropped the project in, since 2010, and is just out here killing. Mm -hmm. Like, she's like she's a freaking, she's the bar for so many R&B singers. So many women, so many men always put Erica on top of that pedestal, and she's just out here dominating. Yeah. The cover of GQ for me. They say she, well, she's the musical artist of the year with no new music. <laughs> <laughs> she just went on tour this Not year. Sure. Salute to the queen, Erica Badu, man. I don't even know if we give Erica enough flowers. Yo, yeah. speaking of Erica Badu, Andre 3000 put out a flute album. How'd you feel about it? I didn't listen to it, but I've listened to his interviews reacting to it. And he's incredibly charming. Like, I didn't you know Andre. You just realizing this? I didn't know him outside of his music, really. He's, he's obviously, like, a brilliant musician. But his interviews are, are candid and vulnerable and funny and reflective. Not he's, like, to just a fascinating guy. And, like, now I want him to put out music even more. Nah. Like... Andre 3000 owes us nothing. No, I didn't say he owes us. I, it's what I would like. It's what I would enjoy. But I love the interviews. Have with you him. have you indulged in all his previous works? Meaning, have you listened to all the Outkast albums? Have you listened to yeah I'm his sure countless I have. features? You I'm know, sure I have. Yeah, because because there's more than enough there that can bide you over. No, no, I, no I, I'm not. I, I'm not saying that, that we deserve it or earned it. But I love how candid he was. Like he was just like, "What am I going to rap? About? I'm like 50 years old. What am I going to rap about?" But now? like but it was I, just this great open hilarious interview that's why i disagree with him on though because he said you know you know what i'm supposed to rap about colonics i mean yeah. colonoscopies you yeah. could do that shit fire yes you might be one of the only ones yes yeah i'd love to hear fucking um you know colons really smell like doo-doo or whatever he would come up with colons <laughs> really smell, smell like doo-doo like doo -doo. yeah. you know what i'm saying <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The love I, below. I what is it? My thing. Yo, shit don't stink, stink but, but colons really smell like doo doo. <laughs> I know you really think yo shit don't stink, <laughs> but doesn't what it doesn't matter because colons really smell like doo doo. Colons really smell like doo doo. Really <laughs> smell smell like doo, -doo. doo, -doo. That'd be fire. That, Come on, Andre Three Stack. Yo. By the way, not too many people I respect more, and I'm gonna tell you why. Why? Because Andre really walked away. Mm. He ain't one of these people that fake like they walk away. Uh, he really walked uh, away. Like who? I'm just saying he really walked away. Like Andre, at the height, and at the height, I don't think, and also I don't think we realize how famous Andre 3000 is. No, I think we know. You think so? People, because out that was a long time ago, but... That fucking Speaker Box Love Below album, that shit won album of the year yeah, at the not, Grammys. Not rap album. Not rap album. Album of the year and it at the Grammys. it deserved to. It was fucking incredible. Hey Y'all is one of the biggest hey, records yeah. ever. Hey, y'all. How many times have you heard Hey Y'all? You're, you're the person who wrote Hey Y'all. Hmm. How many times have you heard it? Oh, Do you remember God. when he performed at the Grammys and he was like... Okay, for the millionth time, <laughs> hey, y'all. Uh, yo, you're talking about a guy who experienced the highest level of fame you can experience in the music industry and didn't want it anymore. It's amazing. It was exhausting. Yeah. He walked away and has not come back ever since. Feature here. But did he ever say, I'm done? He never really said, I'm retired from rap. Because I mean, he gave. He's been gone 17 years. Like yeah, but it was, it's almost like a Lauren Hill type of no, it wasn't. leaving. Yeah, Lauren I mean, Hill, she announced she was quitting. Also, do you need to say you're quitting or can you just live in the moment? Like right now, I don't feel like making music. Maybe I will in 10 years. I'll put out the flute album. He put out the flute album. But like the idea that you have to make this announcement that you're quitting, that feels more like marketing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Me. 
but know, then it's but like, the if you, you never say it and then you keep doing features here every four or five years you do a feature, it's like, we feel like, all right, eventually the album's going to come. artist. But in that same interview you're talking about, he also said, I, I don't envy anybody with fame. I don't want to be famous. He was like, I want to be able to go to the grocery store. I want to be able to do this. I want to be able to, I don't want to be famous. That should be sounding good. That should be sounding good for people to say, oh, but, I want to be famous. But these people do everything. They go out of their way to be famous. Mm. He does not yeah. in any way, shape, or form. That's he true. stays out his way. Yeah. He ain't even on Instagram. He ain't yeah. on social media and nothing. Yeah. Anytime you see Andre, it's because somebody videotaped Andre and put it out there. Yeah. I respect it, man. Mm -hmm. I respect it. And you, and it also lets you know how much fucking money they must have made. Hey. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you wow. know what hey. I'm saying? Like, God hey. damn. They must have made a lot of hey. money doing I mean, he's not, he don't even tour. Think when, about that. When the album, when the album dropped, I thought he was bullshitting. So as soon as the album dropped, I like tried to fast forward through all the songs to see if he had some bars on it. Yeah, it exactly. really didn't. I was so disappointed. I respect it. The only other person I've seen do that is, is Dave Chappelle. And, wow. and and when and when Dave came back, just like Andre, he came back on his terms. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. This is what I'm going to choose to do. I'm going to do residencies in, at my house in Ohio. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna do my own shows. I'm gonna, whatever. He he chose. He's not in movies. He's not chasing TV. None of that. He came back on his own terms. And that's the that should be the point. That should artistically. Be the point. It's like once you have the money, that you don't need to work for money anymore. The art should be its most pure. And a lot of people can't step away because they need the attention. But once you can accept life without the attention, then you're just creating art for art's sake. Wow, that's a really beautiful place to be in. What you just said made me think of something. I think most people are looking for the v validity from people. Yeah. And they're not looking for the validity for their art. They're just looking for the validity just to be famous. Yeah. That's why I hate the word relevant. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah. people are just trying to be... Famous, yeah. you know what I mean? They just want people to still know I'm still the hot person and this and that. Like, yo, you're only going to be the white hot person once. Mm. After that, it's just about longevity and consistency. And are you creating something that will have people anticipating whatever you put out 17 Next. years from now if you decide yeah. to stop? If, you, if what you're doing right now, if you decide to stop and you say, yo, I'm not going to do nothing, and 17 years from now, people still care about whatever offering you give them. Is what you're doing right now setting that up? I highly doubt it. Mm. I highly doubt it. Mm. Like, I don't think there's a lot of people setting that type of longevity up. Yeah. Why are you looking at me like that, yo? I want to give you a haircut. That's what it looked like. <laughs> he was like, <laughs> yo, he was like yo, I just told you Mahal Keita. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you're looking at me like a Filipino. I just told Mahal Keita. Why do you kind of pronounce Filipino with an accent, but then you don't? It's like, not. you're like, my Filipino. <laughs> you do that, but, like, you're not fully committed. Yo, just commit to Filipino. Like, you know, why are you trying to be cute about With it? all the Filipinos out there, my whole quita. Um, Young Thug. Yo. Young Thug on trial. What y'all think, man? Young Thug gonna beat this thing or what? Free. Free, free, uh, free, free Young Thug, man. You think he gonna beat this? Yeah, I think he's going to beat it. Really? Yeah. Have you given it any thought or are you just saying that? I'm just saying it. Okay. I don't even know what he's on trial for. <laughs> I really don't know. He either got caught up in a RICO, right? Yeah. The racketeering. Yeah, he got caught up in a RICO. But what was the RICO for? I don't even remember to be Being honest. the head of... Yeah, of being the head of organized, organized crime. Yeah. yeah. But, but what are they assuming happened? Like murders and that stuff? Yeah. Oh my goodness. Was it murder? Is it murder? Yeah, there's a couple of murders. Oh. So how do how can they prove it? Looks it looks pretty janky, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. It looks pretty janky. You like mean you think it's gonna fall apart? It looks like that, but here's my thing. I don't think that the Fulton County DA, and I could be wrong, I just don't think she's gonna allow herself to lose. That's that's kind of what it feels you like. Can't, you can't you can't go after the big fish like she's marketed the case, yeah, like she's building saying. her yeah, career right. on that's it. Right. Like between Thug and Trump. You know, nah, so, she, so, so it's like I can't see a person. I don't know. I just I don't know. I don't know. I think that they'll give him a crazy deal if it's looking like it's not going to go through. Mm. And if he gets a crazy deal, like what if he like, just what, gets you take ten? Well, I mean, ten. What if, I, if, the trial started already? So usually at this point they're not giving out deals. <clears throat> oh, you can't do a I mean, deal mid trial. They can, but oh, yeah. usually by this point, first yeah. day. 
He yeah. was dead ass for a mistrial. I didn't realize he was in jail for over two years. Yeah. Wow. It's been that long? Yep. Wow. Well, so what if, two- what if he gets four years? So you got to do two more. Would you take that? Absolutely. Al? Yeah. Taylor? 100%. Thank you for paying attention. 100%. Yeah, yeah, I'm taking yeah. it. Absolutely. Because for what he's charged for, he can he can go away for some time. Here's the thing, man. Whether people realize it or not, you know, I, I don't know anything about Young Thug's criminal shit because, you know, I'm not a criminal. So I don't be in, in, involved with those crimes or hear about those crimes. But I know that in the community of Atlanta, Young Thug does do a lot. You know, he employed a lot of people. You know, he gives back to the community that he's from. That's all you can ask, ask of individuals. How do you feel about them using his lyrics as evidence? I I don't like it i don't think that here's the thing man lyrics should be used in court if people are stupid enough to actually document said crime on a record you know but see the, the problem with using lyrics in court is rappers are entertainers so rappers use a lot of hyperbole they they sensationalize a lot of things you know so how do you know what's What's, the, what's real and what's fake? Well, hopefully they'd be faking it. Like, if you're admitting to actual crimes that happened in your lyrics, like, that's pretty stupid. D- details, I mean. Like, if you say, I killed such and such. And drove away in a Sentra. And drove away down this street in this car. And they and got threw us, them behind this building. you like... And you got the video of someone doing that exact thing that yes. kind of looks like you. It's like, yo, yes. that wasn't the smartest move. So, like, I'm definitely not quoting correctly, but I know there's one song lyric where he's like, oh, I'm not the shooter, but I ordered it. And there was 100 rounds sent at this uh, Tahoe. And then there was he a person. Tahoe? Like that. He said a type of a car. And then there was a person who was gunned down that, with a bunch of rounds bruh. in a Tahoe. Well, that's, that's I don't believe you, Alex. I mean... There is a lyric that's very close to that. Yeah, I don't believe that that's the lyric. Ah, I said I'm not quoting correctly. But this but... could just be me not liking you, as the internet says, <laughs> which isn't true. Why but don't you like me, Charlotte? I don't know why people say that. <laughs> it's the stupidest shit in the world. That's crazy, man. But I, I, I don't know. I, I, I've never heard that lyric. It was Charlotte. Mm, wait, Mahahe? How you say that? Mahakita. <laughs> Mahakita, right? Uh, if right. there is a lyric like that, yeah, that's stupid. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So lyrics like that show you have to use in court. You know what I'm saying? Like, but if it's just a generalization, like 50 Cent says in the record on Get Rich or Die Trying, um, if you smart, you'd be shook of me because I'll shoot up your mama crib and have your ass look for me. Yeah. Right? That's just a bars. You know what I'm saying? That's just bars. But if one of his ops, mama's house ends up getting shot up, should you use that against him? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, it's hard. I don't know. I don't know. So, yeah, I think if you're detailing lyrics, yes. But if it's just generalizations, I don't see how you use that against people in court, man. Especially not in rap. Mm. I don't think so. What else we got, Taylor Gang? Didn't like it. Standing on business. Didn't like anything about it. Um, but let's It started out funny. Did you watch the longer video? I did watch the longer video. It started out, they were just, it looked like family ball busting. It was kind of cool. Like, they had some funny jokes and shit. He was kind of laughing along with the jokes. This is and- happening a lot, if you notice, though. It's these, 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 these kids of celebrities and athletes who are well off pretending to be something else. And I'm going to be honest with you. You got to blame hip hop for that. Go, go. You, just, you just have to. We're back. Like, like, We're no, fucking back. You just have to blame hip hop. I love this. You have, yes. to, you have to blame hip hop for that. Hip hop makes the hood look so sexy. You know what I'm saying? We glorify, you know, the, the, the gang culture. We glorify the drug culture. Like the music sounds good. Like, like if you, some of these songs represent the hood so well, you want to be from the hood, you know? And I don't... Here's and the thing. he can't be from the hood? Here's the thing. But he can be tough. Somebody has to make being a child, a privileged child, sound good on beat. Simple as that. Nah, you right. Find out a way to make your privilege sound good on beat. What's the Will Smith's kid's name? Jaden. Jaden got to do that. Jaden got to so, rep yes. for all... The what the is it called? Kids. Nepo babies. Nepo babies. Nepo babies. Yes. Yes. Maybe that's what you do instead of being a a, a a a trap baby. 
Be a Nepo a, baby. A, a, a busted baby? Yeah. What's the baby shit? I don't fucking know. <laughs> the baby? Little baby? <laughs> Instead of being the baby, your little baby, be a Nepo baby. Be a Nepo baby, yo. Be a Nepo baby. Yeah. Find out a way to take being a Nepo baby and make that shit sound good to a beat, man. Yeah. Because I don't understand the fascination with the hood in any way, shape, or form. Like, so look, this is a resurfaced video from their old show. Okay. About him crying over like wanting to be an artist. Is that? I don't want to make a name for myself. I don't want to. <laughs> there's a certain structure and discipline that comes with school the king definitely needs. That's part of the journey. You can't do it for him. His mama can't do it for him. His mama can't do it You're for right. him. Neither can I. I don't think You're Trip right. realizes that King is really serious about creating music. I mean, we want all our kids to get out there and do what they do. But as a parent, you're torn because you want to make sure they keep their ass in school and get good grades. I'm fighting for what I want, and I'm well, finally getting it. Keep fighting, young man. Keep fighting. <laughs> and you're you right. do never make a man at you. Don't cry. What is you still trying to coddle him for? Let the man walk out, have some time to himself, sit down, soak it up, mm -hmm. and come up with what he need to do. Tip ain't wrong. Mm -hmm. I kind of like that. Tip yep. ain't wrong. I like that. Yep. Shout out to T.I. Tip is not wrong in no way, shape, or form. All of us got to walk our own journey. Whether you a privileged child or not, everybody has to walk their own journey. The only thing I hate about this the most, man, is that, like, man, I, I, I don't envy anybody who got to raise kids in the social media era. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And I know I got a bunch of young ones, too. I keep mine off social media. But what, what happened in this situation, you, you never bucked at Larry Legend shows? Nope. Oh. Never. That's Not even an argument. Really? I, I feel like every man maybe, has a coming maybe of argue, age. But never, never once bucked, never, nah, never like, yeah, maybe like an argument or something. We disagreed on something like that. Like I thought I knew more than him about something yeah. stupid, but never like tried to check him or none of that kind of shit. Well, I, 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 my dad fucked me up. <laughs> I, I'm gonna be honest with you. I, I, I never in my life thought I could take my dad. That's one thing. Yeah, yeah. never. I've yeah. seen my dad fuck up enough people. You know what I'm saying? I've seen my dad do a lot of wild shit that I yeah. do. Yeah. I can't take this motherfucker. Yeah. I don't know what made King feel like he, yeah, he could take I don't him. know what made nah. King feel like he could buckle on T.I. But I never, ever felt like that. Now, I did get, I remember one time, um, Oh man! What? I don't know if this was the second time I matter of fact, yeah, it was the second time I got out of jail. I got arrested for drugs, and I was like eighteen, and my mom tried to beat me, and you're like, nah, no. And I remember grabbing the belt. This ain't happening, you know what I'm saying? And my dad. I said something to my dad, like, I, I, I said something smart to him. I don't remember what the exact words was. And my dad did me like Tip did me just now. Let him get the fuck out of here then. Let him, let him go. Let him go. Let him go figure this shit out. Let him go be a man or whatever the fuck, something like that. And I left. And I went and, I go, I went and lived with my partner for about eight, nine days. No <laughs> That's all it took me. Like, I'm not about to live in the trap house. I can't do it. <laughs> you know what I'm and saying? Then, hold on. So, and then you went back to your family you home? Damn right. What was that like? It was my, my my mom my mom was happy. My my dad knew it was gonna happen. Mm -hmm. It wasn't like, like I, I I need to come home. Wait, so what did you say when you walked in? We said, "Can I come I'm, home?" No, I called. I need to come home. Mom. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> this life is not meant for me. <laughs> this ain't for what I'm supposed to be out here in these streets. Though. I read Judy Bloom novels. <laughs> but you know what's so crazy? Speak, the, 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 think about that. You get you come out of jail. You know, you get arrested for drugs, right? It was, it was a drug bust, so all of us got arrested at once. So you come out, and it's like, I'm not about to be on punishment. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I got stripes in my yeah, mind. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? In my mind, I got stripes. It's the second time I done been to jail, guys. I went to jail for 45 days for assaulting Braddy with intent to kill, even though I didn't do shit but sit in the back seat. You know what I mean? Then, <laughs> right? Okay, I was just in the back seat while the shots were getting fired, right? Okay? But now, I've been involved in a drug bust, too. Y'all not about to take this street cred for me. That's right. <laughs> That's right. And then, so I lived in the trap for about nine days. And it's then like, what, what was it in the trap that made you go, yeah, I ain't doing this no more? Was there a thing that happened? 
No, it's just a beautiful ranch style house right up the street that I got a room in. You know what I'm saying? With with air condition. You know, there was no a, air conditioning in the trap house. I mean, fans in the window. You know what I'm saying? It's just like my my point is, I had no business there. Yeah, yeah. that ain't my life. That's yeah. not who I was in any yeah. way, shape, or form. Forget yeah. the conditions of the, the the house. It just I had no business there, and I knew that. I'm like, it's, it's one of those things. Like, what the fuck am I doing yeah. with my life? And that is what King is gonna have to realize on his own. But you were there for eight days before that maybe, stepped Maybe in? nine. Nine may, days. May, may, maybe nine. At what day were you like, this is not I don't even me. remember the details. I just remember calling my mom, like, Mom, I need to come home. <laughs> that, that same <laughs> thing, bro. Same eating. exact thing. like, I need to come home. You know what I'm saying? But it's just like, but that's what T.I. is telling, that's what he's say, saying in that video. Let him go spread his wings and fly. And you're going to go out there and realize it's, it's much cold better over out here. There. Yeah, That's right. Yeah, you complaining, yeah. young king, about being in that gated community and being in that mansion. Trust me, there's so many people out there that would trade their existence and their lives for what you're doing right now. And also, I think he was talking in the video about, like, he wanted to be at his grandma's house, which I guess was more in the hood or some shit. But Yeah, let's watch it. Let's hear it. It's not the door. All right, then. Go. 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 I got some niggas in the neighborhood with me that broke up and broke your Y'all want to go to the bando and met my neighborhood? Do y'all want to go to the bando? Do y'all want to go to the bando? To make him look better, he say shit he know got you. Silver Spoon, I ain't never ate with that day a day in my life. Nigga, you did I'm have a silver spoon. Well, you used to have your come to my grandma's house, because I'm getting in the fight. You ran like a baby to go to your grandma's house. Yeah. <laughs> you used to hold your grandma's house. Yeah. 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 I don't want to be in these gates. I want to be outside in the neighborhood. That's why I want to be over there. But they don't understand that. I'm going to tell you the reason why you want to be over there. Y'all ready? Because... He can suck and pacify over there. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, he was suck and fucking pacify. He was swear you know. He can do that. You can't say that to me when I'm trying to be a thug, man. Yeah, yeah, that's fucked up. Look, look, look. He is well. I was over there trying to suck and pass it, but they ain't gonna tell you everything. They trying to hide it. Sugarcoat it. He capping. He capping. Hey, he know I stand on business. He know that. Hey, no nigga know it. He capping. He capping. He know I stand on business. He know that. Hey, no nigga ever pulled my car ever in life. I stand on business. You drop me somewhere, I stand on business. You drop me in your hood, I stand on business. Yeah, I've been stood on business. I've been stood on business. You want to hide it for the world, I'm going to put it out there for them to see. Nigga, I want to put up nowhere. You ain't had me put up nowhere, nigga. Like, I ain't, you ain't had me behind the mansion. I was outside doing what I wanted to do. Like what? You walk behind no, me until you cried. No, niggas ain't got too much to drink. Niggas are drunk too much. Niggas drunk too much. Let's go. Niggas get mad because we stay in the south and the suburbs. Niggas want to talk about some other shit. Like, just be a city nigga. Just be a city nigga. No, I'm being real, nigga. You lying. You lying. You up here flagging. You're capping, nigga. You're capping. This is the water part. Of course you know him. That's your dad. <laughs> Get out your mama face, boy. I know you. What's wrong with y'all? Is that T.I. or his mom? That's, 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 that's the mom, the tiny. You know I stand on business. Why you even let somebody play with me like that? Why you let somebody play with me like that? Why you let him play with me like that? Why you let him play with me like that? T.I. is great. T.I. is great. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. You are embarrassing yourself. Every now and then, I'm telling you. You can't do that with me. Alex, you ain't never buck on your daddy? No, every day. You can't do that with me. He shut that shit down. Your dad's black, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your dad's black. <laughs> God damn, say? Alex. No. Alex, they think you act like that much of a white boy? No, I'm <laughs> Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican. <laughs> but wait, why do you think... You think it, my brother, he barks with my dad, he punched him. But, that's what no. I'm saying. Yeah. And what happened? What did your dad do? My dad, my, no, 
know my dad busted him in his chest. Oh, That's really? Like, my dad and my brother said his dad down. Nah, I had the same situation as you. I had a gun in the crib. <laughs> I was like, it's my room. You can't search my shit. They're like, where is our house? <laughs> it's yeah, so your house. Get yeah. the fuck out. So, I live with my uncle. I probably lasted two weeks. He made me wake up early, go to work and shit. I'm 15. I'm like, the fuck? <laughs> like, it's summer work, break. Yeah. So your daddy never put that power on you early. Yeah. See, my dad <laughs> put that power on me early. Oh, so oh, him, I never but, stepped to him. Before no. him putting the power to me early and me watching what he did to other people, I knew I ain't stood a chance. Oh, yeah. I don't know what got in the little king to think he could just get on jump on T.I. like that. I knew I ain't stand a chance. Either, That's what's so, crazy. so like, you think this is a black thing? I, mean, I don't think it's a black thing. I don't think I so either, heard. but... Have no. you balked at your dad before? My dad would probably kick my ass to this day. How but you did you ever bark at him, though? Yeah. Suck my dick, dad! No, 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 no. I, I, I called my mom a Fuck bitch you, dad. once. So you know it's, it's the new generation of whites. I called my mom a bitch and my dad... What'd she do? <laughs> no, she didn't do anything. My dad tried to throw boiling water on me. So I got God and then you called your mom a bitch for that? No, I I had said you're being a bitch, and he came, he was boiling tea or something. He came running over the pot and tried to throw it on me. So I respect it. I yep. respect that shit too. What happened? Why didn't he throw it on you? Fucking what? Why didn't he throw it on I you? I ran. <laughs> oh, so he did throw the water. Yeah, he tried to get me. Man, shout out to Mr. Yeah, Bro, yeah, bro. yeah. Fucking disrespectful. <laughs> yeah. Well, how dare you call your mama a, your wife your mama a bitch? Cause you earned every bit of that. You should have got a little burn. First, first and last time. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not saying this is the coming of age thing, man. Every man, every young boy is going to try the father at some point. And I think it's the same thing with the daughters. I think the daughters try the mom, maybe not in a physical way, but you might you you gonna get bucked. Yeah, attitude. Yeah, man. But, and also, King is also charging millions per million for a... It was 10000 Taylor. I saw the case. <laughs> he said, that's a big... <laughs> I saw the case, Taylor. I saw the, the... I literally saw the case. It was 10000 Taylor. A million or 10 million <laughs> became 10000 I don't know why I saw 10 million. I don't know why you saw 10 million. <laughs> Let's pay this from Squarespace to come back and do some Asking Idiots. You got some Asking Idiots for us, Taylor? Uh, Squarespace, today's episode is brought to you by Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform for building your brand and growing your business online. Stand out with a beautiful website, engage with your audience, and sell anything, your products, content you create, and even your time. Squarespace makes it easy for creators to monetize their content and expertise in a way that fits their brand. With member areas, you can unlock a new revenue screen for your business and free up time in your schedule by selling access to gated content, like videos, online courses, or new newsletters. Create pro-level videos effortlessly. The Squarespace Video Studio app helps you make and share engaging videos to tell your story, grow your audience, and drive sales. Stand out in any inbox with Squarespace email campaigns. Collect email subscribers and convert them into loyal customers. Start with an email template and customize it by applying your brand ingredients like site colors and logo. Built-in analytics measure the impact of every sin. Use those analytics and insights to grow your business. Learn where your site visits and sales are coming from and analyze which channels are the most effective. Improve your website and build a marketing strategy based on your top keywords and most popular products and content. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. Let's get back to the show. Guys, this episode is also brought to you by Blue Chew, the greatest in the business. Same active ingredient as Cialis or Viagra, but this is the chew. This is the one we're rocking with. This is the one you keep. Uh, the ladies happy with the ones that you surprise them with, the ones that you make the greatest first impression you've ever made in your entire life with. Rock hard dicks. Blue Chew is going to give it to you for free. That's right. All you got to do is pay for uh, $5 for shipping. That's it. You get your first month free, $5 shipping, an absolute no-brainer. BlueChew.com. Make sure you use the promo code IDIOTS when you go to BlueChew.com. Now let's get back to the show. Let's do some Asking Idiots. Taylor Gang. Charlie Marciano <laughs> says, oh, this is a good one. What song best describes you in your life today? Why? Why, Schultz? Um, uh, what, what is, wipe it down or something. What is that one? <laughs> wipe me down. Wipe me down. down. Wipe me down. Wipe me down. I like that one. Wipe me down. That describes your life? That's my life. Wipe me down. Why? Your life, though. Because I'm dripping. Ooh. You know come I'm through dripping. You, drip, you got to wipe it come down. Come through dripping. Ooh. Okay, what about you? Mary J. Blige, be happy. Interesting. Mary J. Blige, be happy. Either Mary J. Blige, be happy, or Mary J. Blige, my life, but probably Mary J. Blige, be happy. Because that's all I want. All I want to do is be happy. You know? Huh. Life is too short to be trying to play some games. 
Take some time and think about, is it really worth losing me? Why must you be this way? Why must you play with my mind all the time? I don't even know if that's the word. It's something like that. If you're all happy really and you know it, clap your hands. hands. <laughs> if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it and you really want to show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Be happy. Be happy. <laughs> That's the clap. Be happy. <laughs> Yo. Damn, Charlie Marciano, you asking another uh, fire question, bro. I you like do this. It. You do the clap. That was Taylor no, Dines, by the way. I was off. Boo! Too. Happy birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. How can I love somebody else? else if I can't love myself <laughs> enough to know it is time? Time to let go. Taylor's thighs. <laughs> yo, yo. That's a compliment. <laughs> the look that he just gave yeah. The look that he just gave You ever see a dog like Fuck up a couch or something You catch him and they just go yeah. <laughs> oh, Cause you looked at me like I can't believe you fucked up the couch I do Let's see Taylor scroll down What else we got Taylor <sighs> This is a good one What would happen if starting tomorrow Nobody had to make money Hmm I think that would be fantastic. I've thought about stuff like that. I've actually, What's the maximum, you're saying? I've, I've actually thought about what if everybody treated life like how y'all do Burning Man? Meaning, mm. if everybody got a skill set and everybody has something they're good at, they mm -hmm. just do it. Like, if you build houses, you just build houses for people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? If you do electricity, electricity, you just do, you know, the electric work. Like... But what's, what's out, what, what we'll get out of it is peace. I just finished singing Be Happy. If there was no money and everybody could be on the same level of whatever you're seeing, you, you know what? That's, that's what it is. Tell if me. Everybody, Tell me. If everybody was uh, rewarded for what they brought to the table skill-wise. So everybody would have to figure out how to do something. If you sit around and do nothing, you get nothing. Ooh. But if you figure something out, you get it. I'm just saying, like, uh, like, just imagine if somebody built the mansion just because they wanted to build mansions. Mm. Everybody would have a mansion. So maybe we need universal income, my boy. And they have to be a big, 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 you big, big you nut. To what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, man. It could be like a little bit of money. You know what, I'm <laughs> be... I'm saying, what, what I'm talking about with no money means whatever we want, you get for you free. Get it for free. You go into a seven-star restaurant, you know what I'm saying? Why is it not possible? Because... Why is Burning Man so beautiful, Schultz? Because everybody's on drugs for a week. <laughs> That's really helpful. We could do that. But we could. Why don't we just do it for a week? Why does it got to be all the time? And why can't that one week that we do it inspire us for the rest of the year about how we should live and how we should treat each other? if I live in this mansion other? for a week, I ain't leaving, bro. Yeah, now I'm going to be a squatter. Bro. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Mansion. But yeah, isn't dude. Burning Man like the barter thing? Like everybody just doing for each other? Yeah, not even barter. It's just gift. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like what, if, what if we all just gifted each other our Gift. skills? What if the electric company just gifted us electricity for free? What if the gas companies just gifted us gas for free? What if we just got gifted clothes? You can walk in Gucci. If you want a Gucci bag, you get... You, you know what would happen? You wouldn't even want that shit. Yeah. Would it? Yeah. You wouldn't even want that shit. The only reason you want any of those luxury items is because they're out of your fucking it. reach. You can't have it. Yeah. You wouldn't even want it. Facts, though. I'm 150000 with this shit, yo. Okay. I can afford it and don't want none of it. You know what's something that you and Andre have in common? 
<laughs> we walk around with long, hard things in our mouths and blow on them. It doesn't work Yo. like that. Yo. Yo. He didn't even say anything. I was gonna say you're <laughs> just asked you a question. Successful, intelligent yeah. black men. That's it. That's all I was gonna say. I didn't know you had... Yo, yo. Yo, 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 get, come on, yo. The clock is yes. Charlotte, Charlotte, get, yo, come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop playing around. You need to spend a little more time back there, bro. Oh, my God. You're acting up too much. This is funny. Um, Ahmad D. Dennis says, which race is the funniest? Oh, Special Olympics. Easily. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Good night. Oh shit. Oh shit. It meant race race. Oh, that's the best. <laughs> Holy shit. I thought you meant it. Oh. Hold on. Thank you guys. Oh man. It's I'm been brilliant, really idiots. Oh, 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 like black white. And the, the fucking fuck? show, Charles. We're about. not gonna beat that. that no We're not gonna me. beat that. <laughs> I promise you, I did not think I thought that you was the I thought you were talking about racism. The bro. speed that you I just came that. from a race. That was the fucking uh the F1 shit, man. They don't got special F1, do they? He said which one is the funniest. So I, but they don't them, let them drive. I know, but all of these races ran in my mind. I'm like, yeah, that, that's the funniest one I can think of. As always, <laughs> if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart, you think we're intelligent, you think we're brilliant, you're absolutely right. Oh, but if you think we're just a couple idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening.